Shalom, all praises go to the Most High. Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh, Shem, Baha Shem, Rakakadash, Dabalan, the Santa, the Elder Apostles, a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the Sisi Akim across the world. Now, I wanted to do a quick video because of this question that I got from a brother about is Noah, was Noah actually, how many years was Noah actually preaching? Because in the world it is taught that it was 120 years. But if you read the scriptures, it doesn't say 120. But I understand why they say 120, because they don't understand what they're talking about. Now, this is what they're saying and why they're saying it. Now, it says here, I'll leave the link in the description box. What does 120 years in Genesis 3.6, 3, verse 6 refer? To what does the 120 years, right? Now it says, Bible question. I was reading about the 120 years that people would let live, would yet live according to Genesis 6 and 3. I used to think it was a prophecy that, yeah, that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, would flood the earth in 120 years. But I found that it was only 100 years or less until the flood. In Genesis 5 and 39, 30, sorry, 32, Noah is 500. Well, I already get that, but the, the point is this. Conclusion from one. The flood of the announcement. The fact that the birth of Noah's son was repeated after 6 3, this Genesis 6 3 and, and 3, since man and woman continue to live longer than 120 years, we conclude that Genesis 6 and 3 is an announcement of the coming flood. That's what they think. Is an announcement of the coming flood. A warning that Yahweh will not tolerate man's sin forever and not a statement about the longevity of a man's life. So this is what they say. The conclusion. Eventually, I'll just go to the point. Right. But actually, the first one is actually right. Because it says it right here. Genesis chapter 5, verse 32. And Noah was 500 years old. And Noah begat Shem, that's the firstborn, Ham, and Japheth, which is the the thirdborn. Because in the other, other verse, it shows off to the to seem as if Japheth was the older, is not the truth. Shem is the older, second one is Ham, Japheth is the third, right? The other scripture is written in Old English. So Genesis chapter 6, verse 1. And it came to pass, when man began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God, right, you have the sons of men, and then you had the sons of God, and then you also had the sons of the wicked, which is the bloodline of Cain, because they was murderers. In their, in their blood, I think it's Genesis 4. Genesis 4 and... Uh, 30 something. No. Yeah, here. Right, it says here, Lecham, Lamech. Genesis 4 and 23. And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt, but he murdered people. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech, seventy and sevenfold. So basically, you know, he was like, well, if Cain did that, then uh, <laughs> I'm going to be greater than Cain, you know? So yeah, as you can see here, Cain knew his wife, she conceived and bare Enoch. And then Enoch born Arad, Arad, Hujael, and Hujael begat Methuselah, and Methuselah begat Lamech. So Lamech is the grandson of Cain. Wait, let me see. First, second, third, fourth. Yeah, fourth grandson. You know, right. So these are the sons of the wicked. Then you have the sons of God. And then you have the sons of men, which are these heathen nations. So the sons of the wicked are basically Edomites. Down the line now in 2020, 
uh, 2020, I mean 2020, 2020, you know, <laughs> not 2020, I mean 2020, and yeah, the sons of God are Yasharala, which are the so-called Negros, Latinos, and Indianos. Now it says that the sons of God saw the, saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and this has nothing to do with the uh, light skin color, because having an Edomite flesh is not fair. The sun, the sun kills you, for example, it burns you up, that's not fair. And they took them wives of all which they chose. And Yahweh said, My spirit shall not always thrive with man. For that he also is flesh. Yet his day shall be a hundred and twenty years. Right. Because they was making children with these people. And then they have mingled the holy seed. The book of Ezra, chapter 9, verse 2. For they have taken their... Wait, let me get it in the other one, Ezra 9. Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. Now when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abomina abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Parasites, and the, uh, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites, which uh, these are African people. This is the Chinese. This is the Japanese. These are another African type people. 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 For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yea, the hand of the princes and rulers have been chief in this trespass. What is a trespass? Uh, a trespass is that you are going off. Trespass. Enter another. Commit an offensive against commit an offense against a person or a set of rules right there you have it sin or offense which is a sin goes into sin because they was making children with them right and uh, okay now back to over here right so the most high said that he will not allow that and that he will make the, the man basically start to die young too because you know you have their blood now uh, I'm thinking of another scripture in my head that says that same thing that and, um, yeah I can't, I can't even figure it out right now so right so it says here 120 years it's not that he was prophesying 120 years because here in Genesis it says that when Noah was 500 years old, he got these he got the, these sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So in Genesis 6 and 3, it shows you that the sons of man... Oh yeah, that is what I was looking for. Exodus chapter 4. Exodus chapter 4, verse... Right, now it says here, Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith Yahweh, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, Let my son go. And Israel is a whole nation of people, by the way. And let my son, uh, let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. And that was in the time of Egypt when he enslaved the whole nation of Israel. The Egyptians did that. Right. So that shows you that Israel is a son of the Heavenly Father. And if you are a son of the Heavenly Father, what does that make you? That makes you the sons of God. Also, it, it shows you here that we are the sons of God, by the way. So we are the ones that die, now die. Sons of God. We're the ones that now die young and just off of nothing. 
right now it says here sons of God so I'll go into the New Testament right here I'll start at I think here John chapter 1 verse 12 but as many as received him him is Yahweh Shai to them gave he power to become the sons of God again of the Israelites by the way even to them that believe on his name which is Yahweh Shai now Romans chapter 8 verse 14 for as many as are led by the spirit of the Heavenly Father Heavenly Father they are the sons of Yahweh so if you have that spirit that if you are being led by the spirit of Yahweh then he is the one that chose you to be led of him and therefore you are automatically one of the beloved sons of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai right first John chapter 3 verse 2 behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of Yahweh therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew not him uh, it knew him not beloved now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear when Yahweh Shai shall appear we shall be like him which are full blood angels for we shall see him as he is and that is his angel form and then you have also this Hosea chapter 1 verse 10 which shows you that yet the number of the children of Israel the sons of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass that in the place where it is said unto, so it were said unto them ye are not my people there it shall be said unto them ye are the sons of the living God that's what we're waiting for because a lot of people they you know they think they're better than us they really do and they don't know that we are the sons of God but once that time comes when we get that angelic body and stuff like that even before that they will know that we are the sons of God then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel which is all 12 tribes this represents the northern tribe and this represents the southern tribes the southern kingdom sorry this the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom which are the northern tribes and the southern tribes by the way be uh, so it says then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together as we are being gathered together right now to this word and appoint themselves one head which is Yahweh Shai and they shall come out of the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel which is a nickname for our people the whole nation right and then you have here Isaiah Ezekiel chapter 39 verse 23 if I'm correct yeah and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity slavery for their iniquity for our sins because they trespassed against me we broke the rules of the Heavenly Father therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies which we was loving so freaking much so guess what keep on loving your enemy the Heavenly Father is going to give you up to them so fell they all by the sword according to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them and hid my face from them therefore thus saith Yahweh the power now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob meaning he's going to turn it around and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name what does jealousy represent if you are jealous right fiercely protective of one's right or possession the Heavenly Father is going to kill you people for who because Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8 for thus saith Yahweh the Lord of hosts after the glory had he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you so we are spoiled by these nations right for he that toucheth you as the Israelites toucheth the apple of his eye so that's why he is going to kill a lot of people he's going to destroy them because we are the sons of God 
whether they believe it or not. They're going to find out sooner or later. It's going to be fun. Right. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. That's why the tabernacle of David is fallen. The tabernacle of David is fallen. I just had something in my head. I should have wrote it down right away. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe if I read something here again. Because it was here. Right, man. Oh, shit. Can't believe I lost it. It says, after that, uh, Ezekiel 39 and 26, and uh, after that, they have borne their shame. It is a shame. It is a shame. Here it is, we're the sons of God, and we being whipped by a cave monkey. While he whipping you, he probably saying in his spirit, okay. he was having fun. And all their trespasses, whereby they have trespassed against me, against the Heavenly Father, when they dwelt safely in their land. Right. When we was dwelling safely in our land, we made these mistakes against the Heavenly Father. So, and none made them afraid. Nobody could fight with us. But we kept on sinning, fighting against our only way of protection. When I have brought them against from... What? I'm sorry. When I have brought them again from the people... And gathered them out of their enemies' lands. That's we are in an enemy's land, Holland, America. Every every continent we are uh, we're, we're in, even in the continent of Africa, even in the continent of Australia, the continent of Australia. Continent. Right, all those places. Right? Even if you live under the ground, man, you're still among your enemies. Right. Even if you are among people that look like you, doesn't mean they're they are you. And I'm sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. And they will be. They we will be sanctified. And the Mosai is going to be sanctified first, sorry. Set apart as or declared holy, consecrate. That is what holy means. But it, it goes into sanctify, it goes into set apart, it goes into consecrate. That is what holy means, you know, pure. Right. So, and, um, right. And let me just finish this up because, like I said, I really lost something that I wanted to have. You're God. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it again. Yeah, I got it again. Um, I think it was Luke 10, John 10. Yeah, it was John 10. Thought it was Luke. Right now it says here in um, John 10, if I'm still correct. I think I colored it in. Right, then um, somewhere here. No? What? Yeah, it is here. Now it says here. John 10 and 20... Hmm, seven. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one, which is one-minded. Because if you read the book of, I think it was Acts 26, where it says that he was praying to the Father, and the Father did not listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> you, because Yahweh did not want to die on the cross. You can read that for yourself, by the way. I think it's in Acts 26. Uh, let me see. Oh, Matthew 26. You can read it for yourself. He didn't want to go on the cross, by the way. Just read it for yourself. You'll find out that they're two different people. Because he was praying like, please, can we do this another way? And the father was like, hmm, I'm not going to, you already know what you need to do. I send you on earth to do this. Go do it. 
And then you need to read Isaiah chapter 53. If you read Isaiah chapter 53, then you will also read it is yeah 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 it's 53 right read that then you will also read that he is a different one right and we are the ones that fell from our grace because Acts chapter 15 verse 16 after this I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David the heavenly father will do this which is fallen down that's why we are called the fallen ones we fell as the sons of God, and we also fell as Yasharala, which means the sons of God, actually the prince of God. And I will build again the ruins thereof, and will set it up. What is what are what are ruins? Ru ru ruins are are this. We are a ruined nation. We are in ruins, but the heavenly Father will build us up again ruins you know ruins versus full city yeah I'm trying to get a full you know yeah you, you, you get I hope you get the picture actually but let me just go on right so we are these, the fallen ones. And if you read the book of 2 Samuel 24, I will show you that we are the sons of God. 2 Samuel 24 and... Was it 25? No, it was 23. Right. Now it says here, 2 Samuel 23 and 16. And the three mighty men, the three mighty men of King David, by the way. Um, broke through, broke, sorry. Break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem. That was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but poured it unto Yahweh. And he said, be it far from me, O Yahweh, that I should do this. Is not this the blood? Is not this the blood of the men that went in jeopardy of their lives, their own lives? Therefore, he would not drink it. These things did these three mighty men. You can read the whole chapter, by the way. But it's going to talk about the mighty men of King David. Because King David has killed thousands. Right, right. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 7. Let me get the other one. Oops, I saw it here. Yeah, what? what, what? Yeah. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 7. And the women answered one another as they played and said, Saul hath slayed his thousands, and David his ten thousands. Of course, Saul was very wroth and he was jealous, which is... By the way, the, the, the feeling that comes with jealousy, it's anger. <laughs> it's rage, hatred. So the Heavenly Father is going to make the world pay for the jealousy that he is make, uh, that you have done upon him by destroying his children, which are the sons of the Heavenly Father, which are the so-called Negros Latinos and Indianos. The so-called Negros Latinos and Indianos. Right. And here it shows you that Saul has killed thousands of people. But King David, he's killed tens of thousands. So ten thousands. So clearly you need to have some form of superpowers to be able to do that. And Saul was, ex-King Saul was strong also. But he did it, of course, with their men, with their armies and stuff like that behind them. And they, they didn't have no guns. So you can start thinking about that. Think about that. They had weapons like swords and stuff like that. You will get tired after fighting 10 men for a while. You'll get tired. He? They didn't get tired. Not, 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 not like us now, how weak we are. Right, and Abishai, 
the brother of Joab, the son of Zeruiah, was chief among three, and he lifted up his spear against three hundred, and slew them, and had the name among three. Was he not most honorable of three? Therefore he was their captain. So the brother, so Abishai, Abishai was their captain. Howbeit he attained not unto the first three. He attained not unto the first three. And Benai, the son of Jehoiada, right? Jehoiada, yeah. The son of a valiant man of Kabziel. Zeel, Kabziel, right? Who had done many acts. He slew two lion like men of Moab, which are the Chinese. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a pit in time of snow. This guy was beating up lions with his bare hands, man. You know? And he slew an Egyptian, a goodly man. And the Egyptian had a spear in his hand. But he went down to him with his with a staff. <laughs> Funny. He went down to him with a staff. Like a stick, basically. And plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. These things did ben, uh, Beniah, the son of Jeho, Jehoiada. Jehoiada, right. And had the name among the three mighty men. But but I'm just trying to show you that you need to have some form of special powers in order to do all these things. Now, in all, in all total, it was 37 in all mighty men of the of King David. And Uriah the Hittite, he would he would be look like he, he would look like the weakest. You know, because and uh and he was he was called a Hittite, but he was initialite. You know? Right. So, um, so there you have it concerning the powers that we had and then we fell. So we are the sons of God, by the way. And now back to the scripture, which is, yeah. So Noah was 500 years when he was, uh, when he had Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So this is Genesis chapter 6. And the Most High said that man shall live until 120 because he was 500 and it slowly went down, slowly went down, slowly went down. And this is the book of, get rid of this, get rid of this too, get rid of this, yeah, get rid of this, yeah, well, I could keep that, and this, this, I was actually looking for, mm, here, right. So now it says here, Genesis chapter 7, and by the way, I just read 6, and I, now I'm reading 7, which is just continually. Genesis 7 and 6, and Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. So here it says that he was 600 years old when the flood came. And here it says that he was 500 years old when he got to his sons. So it's about the space between this 500 and this, which is 600. Because if you read Genesis 6 and 1, which this was Genesis 5 and 32, here, here they were born. And Genesis 6 and 1 said, And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. And they took them wives of all which they had. So the sons of God always had, uh, you know, a kind of look toward the these females of these other nations. Right. Which is not actually what we were supposed to be doing, but we was created to make mistakes anyway. According to 2nd Esther chapter 3. You can read that for yourself, by the way. Right. Now... We are the sons of God. And even Yahweh Shai said it. Wait, I was re I was reading that here. John chapter 10, verse 20. Yeah, verse 20. Uh, 
I and my father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Yahusha answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? <laughs> right, you didn't do it. You, you, you just okay. You didn't do it for that. Well, why don't you stone me for that? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because that thou, being a man, they didn't know who he was, makest thyself a power like a god. Yahusha answered them. Is it not written in your law? The reason why he says your law is because he was mocking them. Because they was trying to say that they was trying to be like, we keep the laws of Moses and stuff like that. And the laws of Moses are in the Old Testament, right? So, so he referred to it as your law because that's only what they believed in because they didn't basically believe in the New Testament that he is the one now you should pray to, basically, right? Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If he called them gods, and who is he? Uh, King, uh, the, 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 this was written by uh, King David, right? The book of Psalms. And also Asap. I think somebody else too, but I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I can't even think closer. Uh, can't even think uh, clear right now. But anyway, I, I think it's, uh, mm, King David and Asap wrote the the book of Psalms. Right. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, meaning you can't you can't go against it. It's 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 it says it right there. So you believe you believe it or you don't. Basically that is what he was saying. So if he if Yahweh called them, which is the Israelite gods, through King David who wrote it. Unto whom the word of God came. Yeah, the word of God came to the Israelites. It didn't come to the other nations. Because the Ten Commandments, for example, was not given unto the other nations. It was given only unto the Israelites. Right? And the scripture cannot be broken. Right? So, you know. Right. Here is where it was. Sorry. Here is where it was written. Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children. All of you are children of the Most High. But you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. And if you go also to the book of Psalms, chapter 90, verse... I'll start at 7. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. That by the Heavenly Father's anger and by his wrath... Thou hast set our iniquities before us, before thee. Now, now he's looking at them. He's basically bringing you before the judges. He's the ultimate judge, I mean, sorry. He's bringing you before, you know, in court. Like he's suing you, basically. Our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. If you think you can sin secretly, you're stupid. He created the eyes and he created the ear and he created the mouth and he created the mind. Do you think you can hide something from him? Right. That's like you building a house fully. Just like you building a maze. That's like you building a maze. Right. You built it. But then somebody want to like trick you. <laughs> you. You know how to walk it. You. You know how to walk it. You know where to go. You know what I'm saying? You. You. You built it. I mean, what? 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 what you think you're going to outsmart me? I built it. I actually know which, which path to take in order to get here faster than you. You will, you, you, man, you go, you, 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 you won't even know what the hell hit you, man. Basically, that's what's up. And that's how the Heavenly Father actually, you know, knows your mind. Yep. You're not going to do anything but to get yourself. You're lying to yourself. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told, which is man, one day it's here, and the next is gone, right? The days of our years are three score years and ten. So it went down from 120 to three score years and ten, which is 70. Three score, 
right? One score is 20, so three score, see, 60. One score is, uh, I mean, sorry, one score is uh, 20, three score is 60. So the days of our years are three score years and 10. And if by reason of strength, so if you're living healthy, day be four score years, which is 80. Yet is their strength labor, la sorry, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, right? Because if you're getting older, you, it's, it's just a lot of work for you and a lot of sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away, which is your soul goes back to the father. It's going to be cut off soon, right? Second Ezra is chapter 5, verse, and to show you that we slowly went from a, a 900 years old to about 120, and then from 120 it went down even to 70 and stuff like that. And if you're healthy, you live healthy, you might make it to 80, 90, uh, you know, 100. There's not a lot that can do that, you know, so... Second Ezra chapter five verse fifty two. Say unto her, wherefore are, uh, are unto they. Wherefore are unto they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature. If you read everything here, it's talking about he's asking the earth uh, like people used to be taller, but now they are smaller. It shows you right here, and she shall answer. She shall answer thee. They that are born in the, in the strength of youth are of one fashion. And they that are born in the time of age, when the womb faileth, are otherwise. So, in the beginning of the earth, when the earth was full of strength, when the land Sabbaths was being kept, you had fruit that was very big. Um, grapes in the Bible that were big. I think it's the book of Numbers. Yeah, Numbers chapter 23. Numbers chapter 13, verse 23. It says, And they came unto the brook of Ashkel. A brook is a stream. Stream. That's a brook. A small stream. Hmm. Every time I see pictures like that, I don't know, I get thirsty or something. But not of this gutter water, but I don't know, just water. It makes you thirsty. Right, and cut down from thence a branch. So they went to the brook, and then they, a brook is always near water, by the way. It, it, I mean, trees are always near water, by the way. And cut down thence, uh, from thence a branch with a cluster of grapes. So a cluster of grapes, they cut down, they cut it down, which is, is a cluster of grapes, right? It's just one, one cluster of grapes. These are a lot of grapes, but basically, hey, this is the but. but this is how actually big it was because this represents what is in the Bible. You know? But this is not one cluster. This is a lot of clusters within one. Right now it says here that and they bear it between two upon a staff and they brought of the palm grades and of the figs. It doesn't mention how big they were. But it does say that a cluster of grapes were to be bared upon them with between two men on a staff, a staff, right? Um, giant here. Basically, this is how Esau portrays it. But we know it was so big that they you couldn't just you couldn't just lift it up by yourself. It was big, so they had they needed two men to carry it. You know, and why? Because if you read the book of Numbers 13, they was in the land of the giants. Just like how you had Mario. You had Mario, Super Mario chapter, um, chapter 3. Super Mario 3. And then you had Giant Land, which is the big things and stuff like that. This is, this is actually real. <laughs> That's why these games, they're actually based on true stories, man. Mm -hmm. But it's so fantastic that you're thinking like, nah, that can never be true. It's, it's such full of fantasy. Fantasy, you know, fantastic, fantasy, whatever. And basically, giant land, man. You know, where everything is big. 
and that is real read the book of numbers you can you can read numbers chapter 13 it's very very uh yeah, I don't want to make it sound like it's some kind of uh, like fairy tale, but it's actually very amusing. Not amusing. It's um, it's just beautiful to read about it. I like it actually. Verse fifty four. Consider thou therefore also how that ye are less of stature than those that were before you. So guess what, Ezra, the prophet Ezra. It is told unto him that you are now smaller compared to the people that were before you. And so are they that come after you less than ye, as the creature which now begins uh, begin to be old, and hath passed over the strength of youth. This also shows you that when you are young, a young girl, young woman, you if you get children, there then your children will be bigger and stronger but if you are old and you get children when your womb fail it the child might get a lot of complications you might get a lot of complications and die you know Why is it harder for older women to have kids? Because you're old. You can't do it no more. It's 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 going to have a lot of strain on your body as it's as it is written right here. Where where did I put it here? No. Psalms here. It shows you that then um, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. This is a lot of sorrow even for the men. So how much more for the women because physically the men are stronger so if the men can't really handle it what makes you think a female could really handle that type of pressure upon the body you're not going to be able to do that man you're going to die that's why a lot of them actually do die when they're too old and they're trying to get babies you know eh. so, through, through science I thought so through which science means knowledge it's, it's probably through technology you know yeah they first they figured up their career they fix up their career but yeah basically that's it and now this this is what is being taught by these Edomites now it says I agree with Aaron Mouse which is this guy over here right the 120 years was a statement by the Heavenly Father Yahweh, the power on how long he would allow the conditions to continue before he took action which is which is wrong the 120 is talking about the longevity of your life that's why Yahweh even said here Matthew chapter 6 verse 27 which one of you by taking thought meaning with your mind can add one cubit unto his stature and if you check out this word it says in um how you call this word again your life your life expectancy expectancy but it, it also goes into changing your shape of how tall you can be you cannot do that by thought Yahweh Shai can do it he can make himself bigger and he can make his his life longer that you live longer and no man is able to do that that's why he said that by thought if you if you have a mustard grain of uh, faith if your faith is as small as a mustard grain mustard grain a mustard grain is a very small seed it's one of the smallest seeds upon the planet earth compared to what it will turn out to be and this is what it will turn out to be that's a mustard tree that big tree over there so compared to or this is this one is good too 
compared to the the thing that it looks like like how small it is compared to how big it will turn out to be that's 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 huge man that's that's well basically that's how small you if your faith is this small you will already be able to move a mountain with your thought, with your mind. Mm. I think he does it here. Nope. Then it's here. No. This is Photoshop, by the way. It's not a Dragon Ball. He did it somewhere. Yeah, I know he did it, but uh, I know I know he did it, but uh, I, I, I can't. I, I, I'm I'm not sure I'm gonna find it here. Mm, yeah, whatever. But he moved it. But he blew up a mountain with his eyes, which is funny, because <laughs> that's the type of power we gonna get. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna say in that shallow one.